Let us get an overview of predefined functions. All the programming languages including Python have robust set of predefined functions. Predefined function means the function which is available out of the box with the underlying programming language. The functions which we typically develop are nothing but user defined functions. We can leverage these functions to add key functionalities required as part of our application. At times we might have to use more than one function to come up with the solution. As part of our applications typically we read the data from databases or files. Also data is typically passed as part of requests to us. Uh, they are nothing but REST API requests. Once data is read from databases or files, we process the data. This is where the predefined functions comes handy. After data is processed, either we save the data back to database or files or provide responses to requests such as REST API requests. Even though there are thousands of predefined functions as part of Python as well as Python based libraries, let us explore most common ones to begin with. They can be categorized as numeric functions, string manipulation functions, and date manipulation functions. When it comes to data, here is how the data will look like. There are several other ways also, but these are some of the common examples. If it is CSV, where the data is represented in the form of text with numbers and alphabets, this is how the data will look like. Data will contain multiple attributes. All the values related to the attributes will be typically separated by some delimiter. It can be comma, the way it is delimited here. It can be semicolon, colon, or even some ASCII characters. This is how JSON will look like. JSONs will have the keys and values. The first element in this JSON is nothing but ID and the value is one. The second element is unique ID and the value is this one, so and so forth. We also use JSON as part of REST API requests and responses. As we get into some advanced topics, we will actually see a bit more details with respect to JSON. However, as part of the topics with respect to this section, we will be using data like this to explore all the functions uh, that are commonly used when it comes to building solutions for our requirements. Make sure you spend enough time and understand how to use the functions effectively and also you should keep in mind about how to explore the functions depending upon the requirements. You will not be able to memorize all the functions that are available. You should be in a position to quickly get the information about a particular function based upon your requirement. That will come only when you practice a lot using some of the most important functions. Without practice, you will struggle quite a bit to identify the functions that are relevant for your requirements. So first, make sure you get control on the functions that are used as part of the topics in this section. Then you should be able to practice a lot using some common examples. And depending upon your requirements, you should be able to figure out which function should be used for what purpose. If not, you will be in a position to write your own functions, which are nothing but user defined functions. Even to develop user defined functions, Instead of developing the functionality entirely with your programming skills, you should be in a position to leverage the existing functions as much as possible and limit your coding. So that's how you should work with respect to any programming language, not just Python. That being said, let's get into the details with respect to some of the common functions that we use on a regular basis and be comfortable with the functions that are available as part of Python and then we'll take it further.